Okay, today we're going to be working on the area model or open array. You'll hear it called with both names. I'm going to do three examples for you today. Starting with 36 times 5. 36 times 5. We want to draw an array that matches this problem. So we have 5, and then we have 36. 36 is quite a bit bigger than 5, so I'm going to make it longer. So I have my 5 here, and then across the top is my 36. I'm going to decompose 36 into 30 and 6, because 30 plus 6 equals 36. So across the top, I have my 30, and I'm going to multiply the 30 times the 5 that's on the adjacent side. In the next box, I have a 6, 6 units across the top, times the same 5, because this is a rectangle, so we know that if we have a 5 over here, this dimension is also going to be 5. I'm going to multiply now 30 times 5. I think of it as 3 times 5 is 15. And the 3 is really a 30, which is 10 times a 3. So I have to make a place value shift, and that gives me 30 times 5 equals 150. And then 6 times 5, I know 6 times 5 equals 30. My next step is to add these two partial products together. 150 plus 30, 0 plus 0, 5 plus 3 is 8, bring down the 1, so 36 times 5 equals 180. That's our first example. Next example for you today is going to be 53 times 7. 53 times 7, do a little bit bigger one this time. So I have 7, and then 53 is quite a bit bigger than 7. And I want to make sure that my model is somewhat proportional to my equation. So we have 7 and then 53. I will decompose the 53 into 50 and 3. 3 is much smaller than 50, so it's not going to get a lot of room down here. Okay. Next step, I'm going to multiply 50 times 7, so 50 is up here, 7 on the side, 50 times 7, 5 times 7 is 35, and it shifted one place value, that's 350. And then this little box has only 3 units across the top, times 7 down the side, and that equals 21. So I have 350 plus 21. 1, 7, and 3. So my answer would be 371. We're going to do one more problem as an example. And I'm going to do 18 times 6. 18 times 6. So we have 6. 18 is bigger than 6. Not as much as 53 is bigger than 7. So I'm going to put my 6 here, and then I will decompose the 18 into 10 and 8. And you notice 10 and 8 are close to the same size, but I try to make 10 look a little bit bigger than 8 so that my model matches with my equation. So with this one, I have 10 
times 6 in that box. And over here we have 8 times 6. So I'm going to multiply 10 times 6, which is 60. And then 8 times 6, I might have to think about 8 times 6 for a minute if I don't know my 8s or 6s well. What if I know my 3s, though? 3 is half of 6. And if I know 3 times 8 is 24, I can double the 24 to 48. 8 times 6 equals 48. Then I just add 60 plus 48. Two partial products, 8 plus 0. And then 6 plus 4 is a combination of 10. So then I have my answer of 108. These are examples of an area model or an open array. You'll hear them called both ways.